If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. To write a check in QuickBooks Online, click the plus new button in the navigation bar. Then click the check link under the vendors heading in the drop down menu to open a check window. Use the Payee drop-down in the upper left corner of the window to select the name of the person to pay. This person can be either a vendor, customer, or employee. You can also select the Add New choice from the drop-down menu to quickly add a new name and then select the type of person. Next, use the Bank Account drop-down to the right to select the account from which to withdraw the funds. The balance of the selected account appears to the right of the drop-down. The mailing address field shows the address of the selected payee if one was entered. If you chose to add new or didn't enter the payee's address, you can manually enter one here. Use the Payment Date Calendar drop-down field to select or enter the check's date. At the right side of the screen is a Check Number field and a Print Later checkbox. To print the check later after saving it, check the Print Later checkbox. Alternatively, if using this window to record an externally created check, uncheck the Print Later checkbox and enter the number of the check you created into the Check Number field. If locations are enabled, you can use the Location drop-down to select one. To add a tag to this transaction, click into the Tags field and then select a tag from the menu of Tag Choices. Repeat as needed to apply tags from any relevant tag groups you have created. Alternatively, to add a new tag, simply type the tag's name, select it from the Add Choice in the drop-down menu that then appears, and follow the on-screen prompts to add it to a new tag group for reporting purposes. Then enter at least one line item into either the Category Details or Item Details sections below. To collapse and expand these sections if needed, click the black arrows next to the names of either section. For check amounts that don't involve items from your products and services list, use the Category Details section. This section lets you attribute check amounts to accounts, like an expense account for example. To record a line item in the Category Details section, click into the Category column in the first row of this section to select the account from the drop-down that appears. Then enter its amount into the adjacent Amount column. You can enter the values into the other columns as needed. To split the entire check to multiple accounts if needed, simply click into the Next Line Item row and then repeat this process again on the next lines in this section to select other accounts. For check amounts related to the products and or services in your Products and Services list, use the Item Details section instead. For example, to buy inventory items by check if you don't use purchase orders, simply select the items in this section. To record a line item in the Item Details section, click into the first row under the Product Service column and select the product or service to buy. Then enter the quantity, rate, and amount for that item into the Quantity, Rate, and Amount fields. If buying products or services for a specific customer, you can select them from the Customer Columns drop-down. You can also enter the other column values like Billable as needed. To add more products or services, then click into the next row and repeat this process until you add all the products or services to purchase. To delete a line item in either section, simply click the Trash Can icon at the right end of the line item. To add multiple lines to a section or clear all lines in a section, click either the Add Lines or Clear All Lines buttons underneath the respective section. To add text that appears in the lower left corner of printed checks, type it into the Memo field. To attach files to this check, use the Attachments field. The toolbar at the bottom of this window contains the buttons used to manage the check. When creating a new check, they are Cancel, Clear, Print Check, Order Checks, Make Recurring, More, and a drop-down button with Save and New and Save and Close commands. To cancel the check, simply click the Cancel button. To clear the check window, click the Clear button. 
To save and print the check, click the Print Check button. The first time you click this button, QuickBooks Online asks you questions about how you print your checks and what type of checks you use. Answer all the questions posed to let QuickBooks Online help you configure your check for printing. To purchase blank checks from Intuit, click the Order Checks link to open a store web page. To create a recurring check, click the Make Recurring link to open a window where you can create a recurring check and set its recurrence interval and its duration. This is helpful for entering regularly recurring checks to the same person or company. To perform other check options, click the More button to show a pop-up menu of check options. For new checks, the only option is Void. For saved checks, the options are Copy to copy the saved check, Void to void it, Delete to delete the check, Transaction Journal to view the check's accounts and debit and credit amounts, and Audit History, which shows the change history of the check. You simply select the associated command to perform it. To save the check, and then either close the check window or create another new check, click or select a choice from the Save and New, Save and Close drop-down button. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.